Okay. So this right here is a Pentium 4 machine from 2006. It's running Windows 7. Uh, we look at the computer properties. It says Pentium 4, uh, 2.6 gigahertz, and I kind of overclocked it to 3.1. Now let's fire CPU Z. Okay, you can see here. This is a Prescott 90 nanometers, one core, one thread, Pentium 4. Now let's test the speed of this processor. Um, yeah, just shy of 100. Remember, I actually overclocked it to 3.1 gigahertz, and it still just got like 100, 100 score. Okay, now let's fire up CPU Z on my daily driver PC. So, this is my daily driver and it's running a Intel Core i7 from 2020. Now let's test the speed of this machine as well. I mean, okay, it's not that much faster, it's just, I guess, 55 times faster compared to the 100 on this Pentium 4. You know what though? I don't think this is slow enough. We could actually make this machine even slower. So what I'm going to do is to restart this computer and I'm going to do something. So what I'm going to do here is to... This is something that you cannot do on modern PCs but an um, old PC like this in 2005-2006 has a feature so you can disable your CPU L1 and L2 cache yeah you can do just that disable and let's see what happens we save save the option yeah you can't do that on modern PCs so um, before I do that, the machine takes like 37 seconds to boot into the desktop. We will reset the timer and um, we'll wait for this, this screen to finish and... Uh, okay, let's count it. Oh my god. Is it... holy shit, like... yeah. Now that's how it renders the holy fucking holy shit. Like okay, and it's 27 seconds already, and we have even see the starting logos. But I mean starting windows. Okay, it's there. I guess how long it takes to show the animation. We already 42 seconds, and by this time, it will already be in the desktop, but. And about three minutes, and it start. It finally start to show the Windows Seven booting animation. Yeah, three minutes. Okay, so now after about twenty six minutes, we finally get into the stage where yeah, it's showing the mouse cursor. Yeah, twenty six minutes. That's almost half an hour. Yeah, this is utterly. Ridiculous. Okay, so I can I can move the mouse. I mean, at least it doesn't stutter. Now it's oh my god, yeah. After about twenty nine minutes, almost half an hour, it started to show this login screen. Holy shit! Let's logging. Uh, yeah. Where's welcome? And my mouse cursor just disappeared. No text. Welcome. Okay, so it's trying to... I mean, it's logging in or... Trying to log in. Let's see how long this takes. Man, this is like even slower than a smartphone emulating... Uh, emulating Windows 7 on QMU or... Botch... BOCHS. Like, I mean, this is not even on a modern smartphone. It's on like a smartphone from 10 years ago 
emulating Windows 7, it will be faster than this. Like this is we have literally turning a Pentium 4 into okay, so it's in the desktop. Now we are at 34 minutes and okay, the taskbar is here but for some reason it's showing in the classic thing. We're not in safe mode, right? Um let's try to interact with it. It starts. Yeah. yeah. Everything just really struggling. Like, man. I don't think I'll actually be able to fire CPU Z here again. I don't think I'm even able to fire Task Manager. This is ridiculously slow. And we're almost 36 minutes. Yeah, it takes like two minutes to show a start menu. Like the mouse delays now. Like when I move it, it doesn't follow. Okay, now it's and it's and it's just struggle again. Like I move the mouse and it just delays. And at about 39 minutes, start to show the desktop wallpaper. Wow. Let's see how long it takes to load the icons. This is almost as slow as running Windows 7 on a 486, I think. Like the first the first gen Pentium would be faster than this, seriously. And now we're at 42 minutes and it says Windows cannot connect to system's event notification, so preventing standard user from logging in for some reason. Just disabling CPU catches kind of cripples oh wait it's there and we're at 42 30 yeah so the icons are here let's try to let's fire up CPU Z or try to fire up CPU Z yeah I already double clicked it and it does nothing it's not responding oh my god it's gonna take forever to load. Oh, and the desktop just... Ah, come on. It's not responsive again. Okay, it takes like over one minute to select the icon. Let's double click it. Again. We are 44 minutes, guys. What the hell? Eh? Okay, so it says it's time out. It timed out. This process returns. What the hell? Is that, what what's that supposed to mean? Let's let's try that again. Yeah, and now the computer just freezes. Like I'm moving the mouse and it's not moving, and like the cursor is not, the animation is not. And also, I just googled about this, and apparently, some people actually. Wanted to try to turn off the CPU cache, yeah, but apparently they don't know much about computers because once you do that, it will render the machine unusable, like this. Yeah, and it's still deadlocked, like, like you know, you can see here there's a network icon and it's just not doing the animation, it's static. It's the system is completely locked. Like I can't, I move my mouse around and like I can't even see the cursor. This is completely unusable. Okay, now it's showing the CPU the splash screen and we're at fifty-seven minutes. That's almost an hour. Let's see how long it takes to finish the loading. And we have an error. Uh, and the and the mouse is isn't. Responding again. Wow. Uh, no. Do you want to display the error lock file? No. I can't select it. Okay. 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 Uh, no. No. Mutex locked. Okay. What does that mean? What does this mean? And also, I can't move my mouse again. It's stuck at the left. 
Uh, come on, what does that mean? Okay, I can move. I can move it. Uh, is it still loading? Software. Wait, wait, why, why is it? Okay, so it is recognized in the other window. Uh, so, okay, so catch information is still here, even though we disable it. Okay, so, um, motherboard. Uh, yeah, that's how it displays RAM. Man. Let's see. How many score we can get this time? Tests? 0 0.5. <laughs> like... Oh my... Jeez. 0 0.7. This is less than 1. I mean, it's kind of a miracle we can actually get this far and the results are already here 1.33 uh, I really don't know what to expect so there you have it I guess the lesson we learned is just don't turn off the CPU cache it will render the PC just don't just don't disable the CPU cache don't do that seriously uh, I guess that's the lesson we learned uh, that's about it, I think.